Hello everyone, James here. Welcome to this tutorial on how to use Stable Diffusion XL in Google Colab. I will guide you through the steps to set up and run Stable Diffusion XL in Google Colab. Stable Diffusion XL, aka SDXL 0.9, the latest version of Stable Diffusion with amazing improvement. This version do not require long form crazy detail prompts to create beautiful AI images. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to harness the capabilities of Stable Diffusion for making nice images and using Google Colab to host it. You don't need a high-end computer hardware to run Stable Diffusion on local. So open your web browser and head to Hugging Face official website. Locate the sign up button on the top right corner of the page and click on it. You'll be directed to the sign up page here. Enter your email address and create a strong, secure password for your account. Click on the next button. This will take you to the complete your profile page where you are supposed to provide your username full name and include any additional information you'd like to share such as avatar, github, username, homepage, twitter username, and research interests. Next, review and agree with the terms of service, the code of conduct. After agreeing, click on the create button to create your hugging face account. Hugging Face will then send a verification email to the address you provided. Check your inbox and locate the email. Click on the verification link to confirm your email. Once your email is verified, a new tab will open in your browser confirming successful email verification. Next, get to the top of the page and click on the model sections. In the model section, search for the Stability AI model and click on it. This will direct you to the Stable Diffusion model card. Take a moment to read through the research license card that provides important information about the terms and conditions of using the stable division. Familiarize yourself, the licensing details, and we need the research license card. You'll find a section where you need to agree and share your contact information with the repository authors. Provide details such as your organization, nature of research, and personal researcher link, which may be your CV, website, or GitHub. Feel free to add any additional comments if needed. Underneath, after filling in the required information, carefully review the license agreement once again and confirm that you will use the stable diffusion for non-commercial and research purposes only. This ensures compliance with the licensing terms. Once you have reviewed and agreed to the license agreement, click on the submit application button and your application to access the stable diffusion will be sent for review. Once your application has been reviewed, you will receive an approval notification. Head over to the GitHub file and click on the click to open Collab link. This will open the Google Collab notebook. Next, click on the repo one and repo two links to access the SDXL model. This will direct you to their respective repositories on the repository pages. You will be prompted to agree and access the repository by sharing your contact information. Click on agree and access repository to proceed. Next, you need to set up your hanging face access token. Click on the Hanging Face Access Token link within the Google Colab Notebook. This will take you to the Access Token page. On the Access Token page, click on the New Token button to create a new Access Token. Provide a name for your token and assign the role as right. Click on Generate Tokens to create the token and copy the generated token. Return to the Google Colab Notebook and paste the copy and access token into the designated access token field. Click on the connect button located in the upper right corner of the page. Note that having a GPU in your machine is required to connect. If you don't have a GPU, don't worry. Click on change up runtime and the notebook settings will appear. Select the option to generate a free GPU, save the settings and proceed. A warning may appear indicating that this notebook was not authored by Google. Click Run anyway. Click the Play button to run the Google Colab. This will run and install all the necessary requirements, weights and models for running Stable Diffusion. After the installation process is complete, you will see a green check mark and a Play button indicating success. Run the cell below and click on the public link. Once the download is finished, this link will take you to the Stable Diffusion Excel demo. 
To generate an image, enter your prompt. In the entire prompt section, describe the image you want to generate. Click on the Generate Image button and after a few seconds, your image will be generated. Finally, explore the advanced settings below for further customization. Now, there you go. You have successfully accessed and used a stable diffusion model in Google Colab. By mastering this powerful tool, you can now enhance your creative into images. Feel free to experiment with generating different images using the provided prompt and advanced settings. Thank you for watching this tutorial and enjoy exploring the creative possibilities of stable diffusion.